a viewer named Richard destroyed the fan ribbon cable trying to replace the thermal pads on his RTX 3080, so I told him to send it to me and I'd see if I could fix it. Here's the graphics card, here's the bag of parts, I've never done this before, but let's give it a try. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB, more on them later. So right here you can see the problem we're having. This ribbon cable was just torn right off right here. Richard has already sanded off the masking over these traces. So what we need to do is try and connect each one of these little circuits. But before we do that, I told Richard that I would just go ahead and replace the thermal pads while I was doing this, so let's get this torn down. And we're already in. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. So the first thing we're gonna do is replace all of these thermal pads. And this is the thermal pad material I'll be using. I didn't choose this. This is what Richard sent to put in, so this is what I'm using. Now there are probably, in fact, I'm confident there are easier ways of doing this, but this works for me. I'm in no hurry. If you're new to the channel, I normally stick to fixing game consoles, but I've seen a lot of viewer comments asking for me to repair some graphics cards, so I thought this could make a great video. I've repaired lots of game consoles, a few laptops here and there, and a lot of other devices, but I've never actually torn down a graphics card. Now that we have all the thermal pads correctly installed on the heatsink side, we're gonna move over to the board and install the perfect amount of thermal paste. This thing is definitely gonna be working good once Richard gets it back to test because we have the perfect amount of thermal paste installed. And with it up on its side, we can see this thermal pad stayed right where it needs to. So now let's put the clamp on and then we can get to the repair. And now with that clamp on, we know the board is totally secure. Now we can get the thermal pads on the top plate. Now that the thermal pads are all done, we can get to the repair. So this is definitely gonna be a challenging repair. First, we have to match up each of these circuit traces on each end of the ribbon cable. Then we need to repair the circuit trace. I'll be using a little tiny wire to solder onto each of these traces. Then we have to fit it through the little ribbon cable housing on the graphics card itself and see if we can get it to plug in without damaging any of these traces. I'm gonna get some flux on each of these lines. Then I will come through with a little bit of solder and tin them up. Then I'll come through with a tiny piece of wire and solder each end of the wire to each end of the cable. After that, I'll come through with some solder mask and a UV light, and that solder mask will help to strengthen each of the wires and each of the joints. This definitely isn't the most beautiful soldering job, but it'll definitely do the trick. I may need to go back and clean up. This is kind of a big blob right here. We'll have to see how close of tolerances we have where this little cable needs to go through. But I think we have pretty good connections here, and I think this is gonna last a long time. So after looking at this and admiring my work, I realized I actually put this piece of the ribbon cable on upside down. So now I get to go and do all that again. Luckily for you, since you're just watching, I'll cut right to when I'm done. So you know how I'm always talking about JLC PCB and how you can get high quality custom printed circuit boards that are shipped fast to the US? Well, now the same company is offering 3D printing services. So now you can get your PCBs and your enclosures manufactured at the same place. Here's how it works. You can get started right at jlcpcb.com. I'll put a link in the description that'll take you right there. After you're there, all you have to do is upload your 3D files, then select the materials you want to get an instant quote. Prices start at only $1. After you make the order, JLCPCB's industrial 3D printers and professional operators will produce your prototype. Type. After production, JLC PCB will ship right to your door and they offer worldwide shipping. JLC PCB uses both stereo lithography and multi jet fusion 3D printing technologies. So go to jlcpcb.com if you're interested in their 3D printing services. I'll put a link right in the description that'll take you there. Now I've got this entire ribbon cable rebuilt yet again, except for with the connector part flipped around the correct way. Now I need to test and make sure there's continuity between here and here on each of these pins. This will tell me whether my solder connections are good or not, except for I need to not test voltage. Okay, good. 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 Number four is good. And number five is also good. Now that I know that each of these connections is good, I will add the solder mask to protect these joints right here and make it so this bare wire doesn't hit against any metal part and short out the circuit. So I'll do that and then we'll install the fan onto the graphics card. So the fan needs to mount down here 
and the ribbon cable for the fan needs to go right up here in this little gap right here. And then that comes out right here with this little channel on the board and then it plugs in right here. So I need to do this without messing it up. So I'm gonna first go up through here. Okay, it's already caught on something. Hopefully not too big of a deal. Oh, I see it, there we go. Okay, we got it coming out. Okay, and the fan is mostly where it needs to be. I've got to get that cable up though. There we go. Okay, good. So the cable needs to go like this. Let's get this fan screwed in here so then we don't have to worry about that shifting around on us. Okay, fan's installed. Now this ribbon cable needs to plug into this connector. That is a tight fit right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that part's done. Let's put this top cover on after we get the rest of these cables installed. Again, I really wish we could test this, but I just don't have anything to test it on. I'm working on getting some right now. I'm hoping to have a salvage lot of gaming desktops, but I'm not sure when that'll happen, hopefully soon. So it looks like this piece goes under this piece. So, and it goes under the board. So we'll come back once I have this installed. Okay, now that we have that piece installed, we should be able to reinstall the clamp and reinstall the top cover. And then put this piece and the rest of the little pieces on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's always fun when manufacturers include a little puzzle along with the reassembly. We've got four different holes. We've got two A's. 1C and 1B. I feel like I'm doing a shrine challenge in Zelda right here. So I'm guessing A, A, B, C. If you notice, C doesn't have one of these little pins and every other hole has a pin. So let's try that out. Okay. Oh, nope. So this pin is on the wrong side. So this is gonna be a B right here. There we go. This should be an A. There we go. And we should have a C right over here. And there we go. I didn't even have to Google that puzzle like I do in Zelda. Come on, you know you did it too. If you like this type of video, you'll probably like the video where I take a gaming laptop that was destroyed by a repair shop and try to fix it. I'll put a link for that video right up on your screen now so you can come see if I fix that gaming laptop. Thank you again to JLCPCB for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good one.